Hey guys, right now we're at the Third Coast Reptile Expo and we're about to give a talk about rattlesnake roundups and try and educate and enlighten a lot of people here about the cruelty that goes on at these events. Let's see some of their reactions as they watch these animals go through the torture that they endure and let's also talk to a few people what they may have learned from the talk that I'm about to give. Let's check it out. seen a couple of pictures with the with the, the rattlesnake with this with the mouth shown clo uh, uh, sewn closed but to see the the rest of the stuff I, I, I had no clue. and the pictures I see honestly I'd always thought that they were dead and they were done that way so people couldn't hurt themselves later on but yeah finding out they did alive yeah I, I've been aware of it I've been in the reptile industry for a while now so I, I, I'm aware of it and I've always been against it uh, uh, you know, I've, some of my co-workers have gone and everything, and they saw, you know, the ironic thing was that they know what I do, uh, you know, my full-time job, co-workers, they know what I do, and uh, when they went, they, I told them to look at it a different way, and they all came back with the same thing, you know, they said, man, it's like, yeah, it's like, well, you know, it was different, you know, they went in with a different perception of it, and uh, they, they came out feeling completely different. I was aware. As a matter of fact, I've been aware for several years that this has been going on. I've heard of the rattlesnake roundups, and, and, and yes, yeah, a terrible thing. It's, it's extremely terrible. I would say probably it had to be a tie between at the point when they had the live head of a rattlesnake flicking its tongue out right there, showing that that animal is still alive and in pain. Cross between that and the, the bathing their hands in blood, I mean, how you could do something like that to an animal in this modern age, I mean, that was Stone Age mentality. How that can be done is just beyond me. Me, the worst part was just thinking about having a tooth removed. <laughs> I mean, and something like that, those ones go up further into their skull than most anything does. I, I can't even fathom something like that. So I'm thinking, thinking having teeth removed for myself, how much lidocaine and painkillers they have to flow through me when they do that. And just having that ripped out and then sewn shut so you can't even do anything, it's just it's disgusting. Well, the impact, what got me the most was watching the, uh, you know, the, the, the beheadings and that kind of stuff because it, it really is, you know, as you said, it's, it, it's, it's crazy that it's not considered animal cruelty the way they do it there. You can see that the snake is still, the tongue's still going out. They're showing it off. Hey, look, it's still alive. It's still feeling. And yet that's not animal cruelty compared to, you know, you do that with a dog or a cat or something like that. It's not considered, you know, you go to jail. You know, and uh, it's all over the news, and it's a big, huge thing, and you know, people want to lock you up, and it, it, it's just insane that you can actually take a, a, a dull machete, cut the head off, show somebody that it's still alive, and still feeling pain, and still looking, the tongue's still going, and yet people are just like, cool, it, it, it's, it's wrong, it's wrong. Uh, the gas that impacted me the most. It, it, it was very. 
I know, I know they're animals, but it's still inhumane. And, and we as, uh, as humans should not do things of that nature to, to animals that are not necessarily going to attack, which these won't, from my understanding. Uh, and, and, and are just trying to live, just like we are. So I think, I think it's terrible. Shut them down. No question about it. Shut them down? Yep. No. I mean, if you think about it like Shut this, if that was prosecute. done to a, a puppy, a kitten, uh, or, or even a bird, uh, that would have that have turned into just the biggest media case of animal cruelty ever put out. But because it's not a cuddly animal, because the snake is venomous, they don't care. Well, animal cruelty is animal cruelty. It's not mammal cruelty. It needs to be shut down. Shut it down, prosecute if you can, stop it from happening anymore. It should be, definitely should be stopped. I mean, it's just like anything else. I mean, they have hunting seasons for, for every, you know, all animals for population control. So, you know, um, you know, obviously there's population control issues or, you know, something like that. But like I said, with the rodents, and the, you know, and the potential for plague and for other, and hantavirus and all that, it's not having them there is too risky. So I think it definitely needs to be stopped and protections put in place. Uh, you know, it, there's no other way to look at it. I mean, there's really not. I think we can do is, as you explained in your PowerPoint, we should support programs like the Roar, uh, the Facebook page, and, and, and in any manner that we can, buying t-shirts and, and writing letters and, and, and sending emails and making phone calls, making others know that, that, that it's not acceptable to do that.